I love you, Nora. Do you love me? Oh, I don't know, Jeff. You're the only girl I've dated in, in two months. We get along fine. You do love me, don't you? I think so, but I'll have to think about it. Hello, dear. Hello, Mom. Have a nice time? I'll say. Jack's awfully handsome and such a smooth dancer. Mom, how can I tell if... I mean, how did you know when you were in love with Dad? Oh, I've been in love several times before. I got so I could recognize the symptoms. Several times? Mm-hmm. And each time, I thought I'd found my Prince Charming. Most people fall in love quite a few times in their lives. Well, then, how can you tell when you're really in love? Well, I'll have to think about that. Let's say tomorrow, shall we? All right. Good night. Good night, dear. Most people fall in love Quite a few times. I wonder if Jack knows that. I tell you, Bob, I haven't dated any girl but Nora in two months. We're really in love. Uh-huh. And you were really in love with Betty and Mary and Dallas and I don't know who else. And there'll be others, I suppose. Oh, no. That's over with. You know, Bob, Nora's the prettiest girl I've ever known. She's just as beautiful as... Beautiful? And you think that's all that matters? Oh, hurry up and get in bed, will you? Bob, did you feel this way when you fell in love with Jean? Oh, look. I've felt that way lots of times. The trouble with you is, you don't seem to understand what love is really about. You young punks go to the movies a couple of times, do a little necking, and you think you're in love. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. All I wanted to do was ask, you don't have to get sore about it, do you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, but, but look at it this way. You just haven't been around enough to know what love really is. Believe me, it's nothing like the slush they give you in the movies. Well, I don't know, Mom. That's right, you don't know. Maybe you would understand better if... Say, I've got an idea. How'd you like to double date with Gene and me tomorrow night? Why, sure, Bob, that would be swell. Sure you wouldn't mind? Not if you let me get some sleep now. Good night. Good night. Oh, Jack, that sounds like loads of fun. Mm -hmm. See you tonight. Goodbye. Guess what, Mother? Jack and I are going on a double date with Jack's brother, Bob, and his girlfriend. They're engaged and so much in love. Jeannie has the most beautiful diamond. Oh, that's fine, dear. I've met Bob. I think he's awfully nice. Oh, I do, too. And speaking of love, weren't you and I going to talk about that today? Yes, we were. I've been thinking about your question, and... Well, suppose we look at these snapshots together, hmm? Snapshots? Mm-hmm. Well, what do they have to do with love? Oh, I was just thinking that... They might help you to understand how your capacity for love grows and develops, just as you grow and develop. Here, look at this one. Oh, Mother, did you have to keep that? You know, in a way, you were in love even then. Every baby loves its parents for their care and protection. Of course, some people expect that care and protection all their lives. They never grow up. But it is a kind of love. Now, compare that with this picture. Oh, that's the boy who used to live next door. My, how he did love his teddy bear. Love? That's right. That's a kind of love, too. Possessiveness. A love for the things you own. Some of us never get over being possessive when we're in love, do we? You're beginning to understand. Now, here's a snap that shows how we learn to return love by doing things for others. Well, what about love of our friends? 
Isn't that a stage of love? Yes, I think it is. Here, look at this. Why, that's Betty and Ellen and Anne. I took that picture with my first camera. Oh, I know. There was a time when I wouldn't look at anyone but my special friend. I guess that was a stage of love. Yes, and boys go through a similar stage when they stick together in gangs and won't have anything to do with girls. We soon change that. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. Oh, do you remember this picture? The captain of the football team. That was two or three years ago. He never knew how much I loved him. I guess he never knew I existed at all. <laughs> well, we all go through crashes like that on teachers or sports stars or movie stars. Then, after a while, there's a stage that some people call puppy love. Why, that's Morris. I'd almost completely forgotten him. Remember how important he seemed at the time? I'll say. And it really was important, as a part of learning how to love and be loved. I think I can tell puppy love. Oh, look, there's the couple who met at camp last summer. <laughs> I certainly caught them. Yes, and that's another stage where the physical side of love dominates. Sometimes this is mistaken for mature love, but there's a difference. Mature love, that's a new way of thinking about it. How can you tell when love is mature? Well, mature love is more settled. Mature love has something of the other kind of love in it and something more. It's tender. Unselfish, cooperative. When I get serious about somebody, Mom, I want to have that kind of love. That's a good idea, dear. And if you aren't sure, you can always ask yourself some questions. Are we really interested in the same things? Do we feel at ease together? Are we proud of each other? Do we agree on the basic things, such as religion, marriage, children, money, and so on? Thanks, Mother. I know that'll help. I hope so, dear. Are we really interested in the same things? Do we feel at ease together? Are we proud of each other? Are we agreed on basic things? I wonder. I'm going to watch Bob and Jean, see if they have a mature love. Quite some time. Oh, I'm having a wonderful time. I've never been here before. Oh, we're so glad you could come. This is one of our favorite spots. Yes, we sort of found it together, you might say, and we come here quite often. Oh, the real Chinese dishes are over here. Thanks, Bob. Oh, Bob, look what came today. What? Oh, the season tickets for our concert series. And guess what? You're going to have to sit through another concert by that young French pianist you didn't like. You mean the same one we saw last season? That's right. Maybe this year you'll agree with me that he has real talent. Well, maybe, but only if he's improved. Oh, Bob. Well, at least we'll have fun debating it. <laughs> Do Bob and Jean have a mature love? Are they interested in the same thing? I'll say they are. They seem to have so many things to talk about and do together. Say, Nora, talking about music, have you heard the new recording of the Browns Violin Concerto? Well, no. I, I guess I never really learned to appreciate classical music. Uh -huh. Are Jack and I interested in the same thing? I wonder. Another question Mom asked. Do we feel at ease with each other? You know, there's, there's no telling what we'll get, but I'm willing to take a chance if you are. Oh, that's the fun of it, Bob. What about some of this watercress salad? That's a fine idea. Bob and Jean certainly are at ease with each other. But what about us? Well, I've made up my mind. I'm going to have the leg of lamb. 
Oh. Well, I thought it would be fun to try a Chinese dish. That's all right if you like that stuff. Me, I'll stick to the lamb. Well, oh, come on, Nora. Take a chance with us on the lobster Cantonese. Oh, I'd like that. Mm. No, I don't always feel at ease with Jack. He's so unpredictable. I guess I am, too. We don't really know each other. And Mom talks about being proud of each other. I wonder if I could ever be as proud of Jack as Jean is of Bob. Not right here and now, maybe. But he does have his point. When he gets out on that ball diamond, anybody would be proud of him. But I wonder if we'd ever agree on basic things. Jack, do you know who I saw today? I saw Bill Johnson and his wife. You know, they've got a fine pair of little kids. They dress them up like cowboys. Oh, kids are such fun. Don't you think so, Nora? Well, I... Oh, here's the waiter with our soup. Children. Oh, we've never talked about things like that. Or religion, or marriage, or money. Bob and Jean really understand each other. They do have a mature love. Nora, I... About our talk at the dance yesterday. In the garden, you know. Well, I... I guess after seeing Bob and Jean... Well, I think that love... A, a real mature love is more than I'd imagine. I guess so. On Bob and Jean, it looks all right. But... We're not ready for that kind of attachment, are we? We can still have a lot of fun, can't we? Sure we can. Would you like... How about going roller skating next Friday night? Oh, Jack, that's a wonderful idea. That's the kind of fun I like. What time? About 8.15. Oh, swell. I'll see you then. Thanks for this evening. Good night. Good night.